Good afternoon. I'm David Weinstein. I'm the Senior Vice President of Clinical Development of Passage Bio. I'm also the medical lead for the GM1 project. GM1 gangliosidosis is a ultra rare disorder caused by mutations in the GL, GLB1 gene, which lead to a deficiency in beta galactosidase. As a result, GM1 gangliosides build up in organs throughout the body, particularly the brain, the liver, the heart, and this causes progressive damage. The brain is the organ that's most affected and the damage results in severe developmental delay, seizures, and ultimately death. Unfortunately, there's no treatment for GM1 gangliosidosis. Uh, there are several types of the disorder. There is a type one, which is the infantile form, which is the most severe form. Children with this type present in the newborn period or soon after birth with hypotonia. They stop developing at about three months of age, and then they progressively decline, ultimately leading to death by um, approximately two years of age. There's a slightly milder form type 2A, which is late infantile GM1. Patients with this type manifest symptoms between six months and two years. They stop developing at 12 to 13 months of age. They plateau and then ultimately lose the developmental milestones leading to death between five to 10 years of age.